<laughs> Good morning, Earthlings. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to paint cats using a projector. A while ago, I had a crazy cat week, and I pretty much showed how to do it, but it was put in with a bunch of other movie stuff. So if you want to go back and watch Crazy Cat Week, that's where this all came from. When you're finished watching the video, you can go to Art Critic Thursday, because I talk about the paintings that I painted in this video. Get ready. You can watch me paint cats using projector. I'm going to carefully go around this part of the eye because that's what I pinpointed to be the most important was this round part. This. And this. And this. That's it. I'm just going to put a little water there and bring this in to go down. Oh, I think it might be paint's gray. And bring it down here. Yeah. And this right here is a good one. Uh, and this part. All right. This is. Okay, and then we have a line kind of here. Got it. Do too many lines, but I want that. that. Okay, so pretty much we are ready to roll. I'm gonna put water everywhere. Now I'm gonna be careful with this line, like what I said. The line here has to be perfect. It's hard to see his line, it's right there. Alright, that's it. Now I got water there. Yeah, and that'll give me a good line to go by as long as I can go kind of close to that. Now it's kind of up to me if I go and touch that blue part because the blue's going to go down if you touch it with now it's got water, right? If you just touch it, it's going to actually do a lot of fantastic uh, color play. I'm going to just scoot right over here to a different blue. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm going to add a little green right in here, just right next to the color. You might not even notice that it's green, like that. We can also get away with doing purple. Oh, there's the back of him. All right, so he's got some green on him. And uh, I can, if you have a little water here, you can move it right around, right in there. There you go. I'm just going to scoot right down the palette here with the blues. Ah, uh, ultramarine, I believe. It is. Now, all right, now we can kind of pretend that we can see the bottom of this lip thing, and then we can also pretend that this is like that. So we don't want to go too close, and if we want to suggest any of those, uh, whiskers, now's a good time to do it. Uh, you can also wait till later and sketch them in. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. Oh, I'm thinking turquoise. Is this turquoise? Ah, yeah, it's turquoise. There. I was thinking like a cat with a little turquoise. Here we go. Oh! Okay, so pretty much there. There you go. I'm gonna stop there. Yeah. I always say that, don't I? I say, oh, okay, I'm gonna stop now. And then I don't. I love it when I do that. I'm not lying, I just, I am gonna stop. I just, <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. It means, means stopping means, all right. It doesn't mean anything at all. It means nothing. Cobalt. Wow, I like what that happened. He's got kind of a wild streaky thing up here. Let's get this cobalt in here and see if we can get some kind of color play. Everything's completely wet. Completely wet. Fantastically wet. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going there to the next one. So I'm just going to go through the different blues. I got almost all my blues and color play already. But except for the selenium. Now I'm believing that there's a 
a line here, a couple, and then instead of being white, I'm going to be blue. I don't think anybody's going to notice. Now also here, I'm going to put a little, little, oh there you go. He's going to have that in the background, which I don't usually use a background, but I, I will there. There you go. I think, yeah, I think we might be done. There you go, there's Jones. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, as look ha ha I'm real big now. <laughs> there's your blooper. There's your blooper. I know you like my bloopers. That's as far away as you can get. Anyway, I hope that you like that. As long as we remember what's important. The eyes, the shape of the nose, the shape of the ear, and the lines of the cat. You can do it any color. I could do him yellow and red. He wouldn't mind. So I got him all out here. And I take a peek at him. And I found my favorite one. And it's this one. What do I like about it? I start there. I like that the eye is as Jones's eye. I mean, you could look at any cat, they all look the same, really. But when I think of Jones, he's looking down with his eye up like that. Like I'm getting into trouble, but I don't want anybody to know it. That's my Jones. Then I think this one is okay. And I can see what I did with this one that I didn't like, and I, I can fix it. Uh, the nose isn't right. It's a little too big. We can fix that. And the rest of it, I love the blue swirl. And, and I started with the browns, and I never really cared much for the browns. I know all the animals. I know my little animal friends are brown, but I paint them all blue, purple, and green. They just need it. They need to be painted that way. <laughs> When I say fix it, I just mean finish it. You saw how I paint so fast. All I would have to do really is go back and look at it good, put my glasses on. Sometimes you can take the paint off and let it dry. Sometimes you can go over it with an opaque color. And that's what I'm gonna show you because that's super being school stuff. If you can do that, your art teacher at the university will say, wow, you know how to, make it put an opaque color over all your picture to make it fix it. You learn from the best, didn't you? You'll be able to say, yeah, I was sure and she's got art school in her fifth wheel. <laughs> so it's not that hard. You can paint cats too. You gotta get a projector, you gotta get some paint, and then you can go to town. Anyway, till later. I hope you find your yeah. I hope you just paint and play and I'll see you later. <laughs> I go to work.